what's nice with big wolf free climbing is you have moments where it's really hard you are in really tough conditions you you climb sometimes you you hesitate thinking whether you you really like this or it's too much suffering but when you get the opportunity to set your port ledge and to sit down and look around and you understand why you do all this effort and this is the most magical moment I've ever had. Yeah, we're here on the ledge. The shattered pillar. We're all sort of shattered ourselves. So far, my team seems to be holding out pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about it. Maybe I'll give him a piece of chocolate tonight. To Big wild climbing, it's like, a, it's like a huge adventure. You don't know if the weather's gonna be good, you don't know if uh, this passage is gonna go free, you don't know if you can go left or if you can go right. So there's a lot of uh, unknown aspects and uh, that makes it really interesting. Rock climb, buddy. Rock climb. And if the rock doesn't allow you to climb, you can't go. I think the, the climbing and the free climbing is uh, what we enjoy the most. I have to put all my climbing skill together to achieve one thing, one objective and it's like from bouldering to endurance routes to um, being tired after many days of holding and living on the wall. The research, the, exp the exploration of new vertical ground. Got this. Having to, to read the, the rock. It's like a thousand like millions of small orgasms all over your body. The tips of your hair, you can feel orgasms. That's what, that's what it's like. <laughs> nice, buddy. So when you eat a sandwich up on a big wall, you can like really taste. You can taste the sandwich. You can like taste it in your little toe nail. Mmm. It's delicious. Lershon, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Ah, les conditions sont assez glaciales. Yeah. Sometimes it's just too icy to free climb. Sometimes it's just too wet. There's just waterfall coming down the wall. On the wall, the conditions are subjective. It's all in your head. <laughs> there is definitely lots of suffering involved. You know, this doesn't have to be fun to be fun. Or sometimes you just want to stay in your power legend and not ever come out of it anymore. Fifth day on the South African. The weather is bad. We are just hanging out all day in um, the power ledge, playing music, chilling. Let's see what, how the weather is. The bad weather is just, it's part of Patagonia. It's part of the experience. You just wish you could guess what the weather will be, but you can, you just can't, so you might as well forget about it. I don't think we ever really complain if we, if we don't really get to climb. If... Shit's really hitting the fan right now. Even if we're stuck in a cave for days, or stuck in the port ledge for days in a row, we're just happy to be in this amazing place. It will probably get soon really good, I believe. 
for the 13 days that we were up there, basically we didn't get to see the sun at all. One of the benefits of being the cook. It's also hard dealing with the food. We have ration food for every day. Uh, there is a little problem with the the cookies because there is one extra. I don't know what to do with it. Oops! I took a bite slightly bigger than my uh -huh. share. <laughs> we, were, we were actually very lucky because we had uh, lovely conditions when we reached the summit. So it was nice to be up there and enjoy the Patagonia conditions. Les conditions sont intéressantes, assez bonnes. It's not just about reaching the summit, but uh, reaching the summit is always nice. Yeah, buddy! Woo! That's it, we can get higher than here!